Hello everyone and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we are going to be checking out this. This is the 2022 Freightliner Cascadia, brand new to American Truck Simulator. They just introduced it in 1.43. It was a complete shock. They made no teasers about it or anything, at least not that any, any that I recall seeing. There's not much that has changed with this truck, but the things that have changed, uh, they mentioned in their blog, and I will be going over those things in today's video and showing off the truck a little bit. The main thing that we have noticed is different is on the interior, which is good for me because I obviously don't see the exterior much since I almost always play from the interior view. So even though a lot of people aren't crazy excited about this because it's not super different from the other Cascadia, I am super excited because I think this digital dash is so cool. That being said, let's jump into the dealership and take a look at what we have with the 2022 Freightliner Cascadia. So the interesting thing here is that it actually is not a new model. As you can see, there's still five options for the Freightliner Cascadia. Uh, what they did was they took the previously in-gamed Freightliner and Cascadia model and they added the parts to it to make it the 2022 model essentially and then redid the interior with the digital dash. Obviously with the truck not on, it doesn't look all that exciting. You know, you just see black spaces, but uh, still this is the, the like parts like this, even though I don't know why it says Aero 2020 when it's the 2022 Freightliner Cascadia, as you can see from this blog screenshot, but either way still that's one of the new things is uh, this, this, these aero deflectors, which is basically all it is on the exterior is just more aero related stuff. So like, see, this is, this was the old bumper and then this is the new one. So it's got a little bit better uh, aerodynamics to help incre increase gas mileage. Again, here's, here's the old one, here's the new one, and it's the same for all of these other ones. So again, old, new, old, new, and then these ones are just the normal non aero ones. So those are not gonna be any different. And I believe that that is all that has changed, but let me take a look and I will report back to you. There in fact, there in fact is more. Uh, it's the aero in the back that has changed as well. So here is the previous model and here is the 2022 aero that we have here. Uh, again, don't know why it says 2020, but whatever. So it's a, just a little bit sleeker of a design, uh, not as much covering the wheels it looks like, or more covering the wheels, I'm sorry. Um, so that is interesting, I guess, yeah, it just makes for probably better airflow. They must have just done some, some more research and found that this works a little better. And that certainly makes sense to me. And that is the last thing that is on here. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the interior and see if there's any interior customization options. On the interior, it looks like we have a new steering wheel option. So here is the new one and here is the old one. Just a little bit more sleek of a design. Less, the buttons are not like spaced out. Like see how here we got the plus and the minus that are separated from this uh, uh, aero pad as, as I'll call it. Um, and then here it's all integrated into one kind of rectangular shaped uh, button set on both sides. So that is interesting. So I actually forgot that the main part would be in this tab. I was only looking in this tab, but uh, yeah, this is essentially how you change the interior from the 20, uh, 9, 2017, 2019, whatever, I think it was 2019. This is how you change it from the 2019 to the 2020. So here's 2019 where you got all the analog stuff and then no screen here or anything like that. And then you switch it to the Elite 2020 and you've got the screens here and the interior just looks a little different. Let's look back here, see if anything changes back here. Uh, it does not look like it. So it looks like the only thing that changes is the front area, basically this, this dash panel from here to here is the only thing that changes. So you can see when I switch back and forth, this is everything that is different. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it for this truck. Um, I will again, double check and then let you guys know. 
and that was in fact all that I could find. So here, let's go into the interior view and I will show you what it looks like with the dash all lit up. There it is. So this one's the GPS over here and then this is the, the digital dash and then when we start it. So the RPMs, it's, it's certainly interesting. The RPMs are on the right side there and work up to the, up to the left. And then the uh, speedometer is on the left side and works up to the right with a max of 85 miles an hour. Um, if we change the dash info, it just changes on the left side there. And uh, you can see based on the dots how many options we have. So we got, uh, looks like five in total. I just went through all of them. And then obviously one of them is to just have all that stuff off. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I am certainly excited to take a look at this truck and drive it. I don't know if there's a way to change uh, if I, I'm sure you can notice that there's some dots on the on the right side there as well. So when I change it, it's only changing the dots on the left side. Oh, no, it does change the dots on the right side too. Huh? All right, well, I'll have to look into that. So give me just a second. Let me see if there's a, a way to actually change the, the screen on the right just on its own. Okay, it does not appear that there's a way to uh, change that on its own. If there is, and you guys have figured it out, please let me know, because uh, I would certainly be interested in seeing how to how to go through that, but I could not figure it out. I looked through the, the key bindings and did not see any that uh, have to do with the dash, aside from change dash map mode, which obviously, when I press that, it only changes the map. So, I don't know if there's a way to change that independently, but if there is, please let me know. I think that is actually going to do it for this video. I have covered everything that I wanted to. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to drop a like. Also consider subscribing. I try to check out new to American Truck Simulator things whenever I can. Um, also, if you're interested in some of the other games I play, such as Forza or uh, Assetto Corsa Competizione, make sure to check out those videos as well. I also do vlogs sometimes, and uh, I will hopefully see you guys again soon. Peace!